What's going on guys? This is Wade with Trade ATS. I want to welcome you to this week's analysis video. Just a quick note, we are going to be doing this video on Mondays rather than Sunday afternoons. Uh, I think it's going to be a little more beneficial to let Monday play out. That way we get a little more data to work with when we do the analysis. Sometimes there's when the market's just open on Sunday afternoons, at least for us here in the U.S., uh, it's that way uh, on Sunday afternoons. We're thinking we may be, be able to give better recommendations and a better reading by letting Monday cycle through. That way we have a little more data to work with. So um, that being said, so what I'm thinking looks pretty interesting right now um, is the pound Aussie and the euro Aussie. Uh, these two pairs right here, you can see I got a four-hour chart here, pound Aussie. I got a weekly chart, a pound Aussie here, and then a four-hour chart of euro Aussie here and a weekly chart of euro Aussie. So I'm, I'm basically just storm watching the, these pairs. I have dollar cat over here. Dollar cat has nothing going on right now. We're still in the box on the weekly. Uh, as soon as we get out of that box, I think we could definitely end up breaking long. Uh, if you are having to trade USD cat, if you're just not going off of it, um, right now you definitely only want to be trading in the color of that weekly candle. Um, and you'd be looking for some sort of breakout out of that box. But um, right now is probably not the best pair to trade. I, I wouldn't recommend it personally. Um, pound Aussie looks good and the reason why it looks good is because we are now out of the box on the weekly we're above expansion on the weekly and if you look at the four hour chart we are under expansion so right now if that weekly keeps going which it's a significant time frame uh, definitely a good possibility it will uh, what you'd be looking for is a rotation to get you back up to expansion right here which is about 80 90 pips uh, and then if we get up to our liquidity lines here, that's about 141 pips away. So there's a good trade just coming across the range right there. Um, and right now you are kind of in the sweet spot to look for an entry on that. Um, so that is a good longer term time frame. Um, but also too, if that four hour does rotate, if you are trading the London and US sessions, there's probably going to be some good uptrending moves uh, like on the 15 minute time frame and, and those time frames in there that you can look for as well because if that four hours rotating obviously all the smaller time frames below that are going to be rotating and moving as well so that's one i would keep a lookout for um, and then the one that i think looks better than this one is the euro aussie uh, this one right here you can see we have this this kind of down move on the weekly we came we held expansion and now we just got our first up week confirmed and we're in our second up week so if this continues to run up we are very early in this rotation uh, seeing the candle turn we're holding above expansion which is all a good sign and then this is really the very first opportunity on the four hour to enter into what can be a very big run uh, on the on the weekly so this one really this is kind of the the golden opportunity that you want to work um, disclaimer Nothing is guaranteed. This thing can fall apart. But here's why th this is so good right now is that if you really work this entry and this weekly holds intact and we start working up maybe even towards this active high up here, uh, that's this is a very early position uh, into what can be a, a long-term humongous trade. So um, again, just covering why that is because we are the weekly is green here. We got We've confirmed that. We're above expansion. We get, we're working in the new weekly right here. So if this thing turns up and puts you into the money above this expansion right here, uh, chances are that we can go in a really big run. Um, just coming up to our liquidity line above is 92 pips. Uh, we have 163 to the next liquidity line, uh, and then we can start climbing from there. But uh, like I said, point is, this is the very first opportunity to to take in this new what what could be a new forming trend so this one i would definitely be looking at uh right now this one looks really interesting and uh, i think you guys should check that out um other than that i didn't really see a whole lot uh these are i think the, the between these two you guys should have plenty to work with um and I think you should get plenty of opportunity out of these over the next week. And hopefully Dollar Cad does break out and give us some movement. Last week we were in that box. You can see you're just whipping back and forth. And just really, it got real tight. You can see the box kept shrinking, shrinking. And we finally got so down and then we broke and then uh, went into that expansion mode. But um, I would really let that weekly break and see where you're at. Uh, that way you can get a little more volatility out of this thing and, and uh, hopefully have a little bit better trading. Um, once it opens up a little bit so um, other than that that's what I'd be looking at so Euro Aussie that's my number one pick for this week definitely look to go long somewhere in here um, 
And uh, if it does, uh, let's say for whatever reason that long does not work out, then uh, you know I, I would try to manage this real tight. Um, you know, probably what I'd be looking for personally is I'd probably try to look for this four hour to start turning green. Like that first four hour that turns green is the one I'd be looking to find an entry on. Um, and then what I would do is I'd probably set my stop real tight with that and uh, and uh, see how that works out. Because you may get another push down. They, they may manipulate the market short a little bit further uh, and then take it long. But uh, facts, facts are as long as the weekly stays intact on that directional bias on that color, uh, you should be getting paid on this, um, regardless of if it dips down a little bit more. So uh, anyway, that that's the big one. I'd take a look at that one. Um, I think this one's going to be a good payday here. So uh, we'll have to see how that works out. So uh, other than that, uh, I wish everyone having a good trading week, and uh, we will see you guys uh, on the next video.